series on the job, highlighting people who have found unconventional careers that may make you rethink your own. People like Jen Glantz, who is a professional bridesmaid. Dylan Dreyer is back now with Jen's story. It sounds like a job no one wants, right? <laughs> right. But you've heard the slogan, you know, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Right. Well, Jen Glantz was so good at helping her friends get married, she decided to make a living doing it, from writing the speeches to shopping for the dresses. She does it all. Watch. Write wedding speech. Check. Shop bachelorette party favors. Check. I love it. Pick out dress. Sort of. Check. Jen Glantz may look like your average best friend bridesmaid, but she is actually on the job. She is the bridesmaid for hire. You're snapping pictures, and are you actually sending them to the bride so she only has to choose from a few? I am the bride at work today, so I'm trying on the dresses, sending them over to her, and then she'll choose the three or four that she likes the best to then send to her bridesmaids. People aren't hiring you because they have no friends. They're hiring you for a service. What are the services that you provide? I'm there anywhere from a year to three months before the wedding, talking to you, helping you organize your to-do list, being there as your voice of reason. Before I got engaged, I had literally never been to a wedding before. I had no idea what I was doing, so I really needed a bridal guru to kind of walk me through it all. Her hired bridal guru, Jen. She helped keep me sane. She made sure that I peed before I went down the aisle. She kept me fed and happy and hydrated and just was a really good confidant that day. Oh, I just have so much anxiety just walking past all of these dresses. Becoming a bridesmaid or even a bride, picking out your dress is one of the biggest decisions that you can make for your wedding. And you'll actually be the one to go through all of this for them. I'm the one that'll help narrow down their decision and find the best dress for their bridesmaids. Bachelorette parties, the whole bridal shower. Do you go to all of those things? I have been to my fair share of bachelorette parties that I have seen it all, and same with bridal showers. I do engagement parties, and then finally the actual wedding where I show up, I'm there, I give a speech, I dance on the dance floor, and I'm just making sure that the bride has everything she needs. How do you give a speech? <laughs> That's fascinating well, I finally use my poetry degree. But this profession is not always so poetic. Some of the craziest things I've had to do is take off my bra and give it to a mother of the bride who forgot <laughs> hers. I once had a bride who five minutes before her wedding grabbed my arm, pulled me in a room, locked the door, and said, Jen, I hate the groom. So I deal with all kinds of scenarios at every single wedding that I work. And after working more than 100 weddings, please don't call her the wedding planner. They're responsible for planning a wedding. They deal with the vendors, they set up the wedding. I am the people person, so I manage the people. Who wouldn't want to say I do to that? So at first, I was kind of skeptical, I'm like a, yes. a professional bridesmaid, but it makes so much sense. I, in my wedding, for example, have so many type A personality friends that it would have been nice to have somebody who can just smooth things over with everybody. So, so they, so like, everybody manage the people. Each other. They yes. manage the people in there. I, the speech is a hilarious idea. You could just write it about, you like, Megan has always been the kindest, most generous, right? right? Just read this, right? <laughs> like, whatever you want your new in-laws in, to think. Plug in some of the things. Just read that exactly. Yeah. So... This is a, like a hilarious way to find a job, make a job out of nothing, really. It's true. What, have you ever had, what's, your, what's the weirdest job you've um, ever had? I used to box pies and make donuts. That's which, fun. I, it's, it's useful. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't also, want Also, potentially box pies lethal and donuts. to the midriff. It was, but yeah. I was like 15, 16 at the time, so I feel like that was Didn't a good camp. time. Yeah, you could eat whatever donuts. you wanted that yeah. age. So, I, did you have uh, any weird jobs? I started off as an aerobics instructor at Spa Lady. Oh. Yeah, really? small lady in upstate New York. Really? Wait, I, so, like, what kind of aerobics? Oh, uh, I mean, you don't, I would don't love even. To don't, see oh my God, they have it at the ready at all oh, times. Amazing. At all times, oh, this is not planned. They, they literally have it on go in the control room. Uh, and then moved on to a career in telemarketing. Wow. Yeah, which was very fun. I tried waitressing one summer and really stunk. Nice. Uh, but I, I figured out the key to waitressing. If you drop anything or if you, you know, get the order wrong, which I did a lot, you just give it away for free. It's free. Uh, yeah. It's, it's free. free. And then everybody's happy. Yeah, except yes. for your manager, which I found out the hard way. <laughs> Dylan, that was fun. This is fun. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.